in this tutorial let's see how to receive a payment and how to enter it okay so you go to sales you go to receive payments so in this example a customer is paying some money to us okay so we go to sales we go to receive payments and you select this deposit account because it's paying money to your bank account so leave it leave that GL account like that it's a check account number click this drop down button and say for example A to Z stationery is paying or whoever is paying so I'm assuming that this customer is paying me money so double click it okay so this is a classic look and feel of um, the uh, screen okay so amount received say they have paid you two hundred and sixty eight dollars and ten cents that's how it's appearing in the bank account now please be careful and remember that this amount should exactly match your bank statement amount okay so if they pay $268 you only enter 268 okay even though they're paying for this entire amount you you enter only how much money you received in bank account okay now next one is payment method so method yeah so these are the different options you can get the money it's like so I'm selecting direct credit okay if you want to have more categories as we discussed in the previous tutorials click new and create a new category okay so direct credit or sometimes if they give you the check then select the check account and click details it gives you the option to put some details of the check the BSB of the check, account name of the check, account number, and check number. Okay, so um, the Australian format is when you look at a check number, usually the first numbers are the check numbers. It'll appear something like this. Okay, space zero three two zero three two space one one six six one one six six. Okay, if that's the number appearing on the check, then the first digit are the check numbers the second item is the BSB which has got the six digits and the final one is the account number okay so you got to remember how to read the check so the first numbers is the check number the next six digits are the BSB number and next few numbers are the account number okay that's how the check format is okay so you can put the check details in here for reference purposes so in this example, I'm assuming that I'm getting the money straight into my bank account. So I'm saying direct credit. And because I've already put the amount here, all I do is just click once and see what happens. That's it. It appears. And when you click somewhere outside or hit tab from your keyboard, notice what happens here. Okay. The out of balance will become zero. Tab. There you go. Okay. That's the magic number we always need to look for out of balance zero. Okay, so in this example, I've got $268.10. I've applied to the top invoice and I'll hit record. Okay, now the other question is what happens if you received only $268 but not 10 cents? So your manager has approved it that 10 cents should be written off. Then what you do is you enter exactly how much money you received in the bank and it's only 268 and put a discount of 10 cents. So this invoice will completely disappear okay and stay record so that's how you do it if you have a miscellaneous amount or you want to write it off okay so that's how you receive a payment from a customer and you apply in model